As Chico Crypto says, hello, viewers of the tube. This is Neil Walters with NeilsVideos.com. And today I want to show you how you can save money on your gas fees. This is something I played with a little and I'm still learning more about it, but I like to share as I'm learning. Today I went to strongblock.com, which is an interesting system in itself. I could probably do another video about that. Let me know in the comments if that's interesting to you to learn more about other DeFi systems. On here, you buy 10 strong coins and you get a node. And so I've got three nodes running and you do have to pay Ethereum fees on them. So that's one place you could save on your Ethereum gas fees. But today I've earned a certain amount of strong coins and I'm going to go ahead and claim them and sell them because the price of strong has been inching back up. So I'm trying to get my initial investment out basically. And then the nodes will keep running until as long as the system is up and running basically. So hopefully in long term, it's gonna be a very sweet deal. So I'm gonna hit the claim button here. Now this video is for people who already know MetaMask. I did a basic video on that a long time ago, but I'm gonna hit claim here and then MetaMask will pop up. So I have to connect to my wallet here. That can actually take a few seconds to pop up. But if you scroll down here, the first thing you always look at is what is your total gas fee? And you see right now it's $210. When I first tried this this morning, it was like 244, which I don't know what the highest I've ever paid, but I don't like to pay more than like 60 or 80 if I can. So what I did is I went and did some research on how to do this. I, I kind of knew a little bit, a bit about it, but I was trying to fine tune what I've been learning, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the edit button here. And then you can always say low, of course, but low usually will only lower it just a few dollars or something. What you wanna do is hit advanced options. And then you get these three mysterious options. And so the goal is basically to set this as low as you can, but still get your transaction to go through. And what can basically happen is, is that you can put a transaction in, it may sit there for a while and then actually not get processed. And I'm still not sure where the dividing line is between when it will and when it won't. So I'm still researching on that. Everybody's saying don't change your gas limit. And most people say this fee doesn't matter a whole lot. Uh, it's usually between one and five dollars. A GUI is simply the smallest unit of measure on the Ethereum blockchain. And so GWAY or GUI is actually a, uh, a billion way, okay? Because mega means a million and giga means uh, a billion, I guess, right? So rather than just putting a random number in here or just picking a small number, I mean, we could just change it and say like, we could type anything we want here. We could say 50 bucks, right? And there it actually tells me max fee too low for network conditions. Let's just see what it does. Cause MetaMask has a little bit of intelligence in it. Try a hundred dollars there. This is still too low. But if I go to these, I'll show you two other sites you might want to check out. There used to be something called gas now. And that site has gone away, but they now have the same data on the Ethereum, ether, etherchain.org. If you just search for gas now, Ethereum, it'll probably bring you to this. And here is where they're estimating the different amount of transaction time. So there are times actually you, you might want to speed it up. Like if you're competing to buy an NFT and there's a thousand people all going for that same NFT and you really want it, you can pay higher fees and, and get your transaction done quicker. But what I'm doing today is I just want to pull my money off of this DeFi platform called StrongBlock. I want to put it in my normal Ethereum wallet. And I don't care if it actually takes eight hours or even 24 hours. I, I can just sell, you know, I'll have the coins in my wallet and I can do something with them later. So one guideline is to use this, but I noticed that these numbers don't seem to be matching very close to what MetaMask is giving me right now. Okay. But you get the idea here about uh, the lower you go, see it says greater than 10 minutes. Like a lot of people want their transactions to run immediately. And if you're doing trading, that might be more important. But I'm, like I said, just pulling coins off of somewhere. There was another site I found in my research called blocknative.com and then the slash gas dash estimator. And here what's cool is they give you this percent of probability that your transaction will complete. So, you know, I'm even happy of trying, say, maybe 80% possibility. So it says use a priority fee of $1.51 and a max fee. See, it's still $177, though. 
that seems still too high. You know what? I'm going to see. I wonder what will happen if I just do that anyway. I mean, I don't have anything to lose here, right? If I don't get the coins today, I can just rerun the transaction tomorrow. But, you know, I'm going to show you one thing, by the way. Sometimes you just sit here and wait. Watch this. Before I submit that, if you just sit here a few minutes, like, see, there are 107 is not too bad compared to what it was. These these numbers will change. I'm trying to figure out what's the difference between the 136 and the 175. Amount plus gas fee. Well, I guess there's always an amount of the transaction, and then there's the gas fee on top of that. So out of what I'm running, this is the total I'll pay, and this is the this is the part I can save on is the 136 part. Let, let me just show you something wild. At one time today, it was up to the gas fee was 1467 up here, and then the total was 1507 down here. And I'm like, no way you'd pay that. So my point I was trying to just say just now is, see here, if you just sit here and watch it, it will change about every, I don't remember, it's every 20, 30 seconds. See, it refreshes. And you can just wait till it gets in a range you want and then hit confirm. Now let's go back to those advanced options again. Yes. And let's see how this number here compares to this screen. It says 142, 138. So that's actually lower than what's on this page. I'm going to come over here and refresh this page. This is, I believe, real-time data. See, it says pending block number. It actually looks at what the Ethereum blockchain is doing at this very second, and it gives you the best numbers for this second. So let's just, I'm going to put in, like I said, the lowest I can. Let's try 110. See, my fee is still 132, even at that price. I'm just going to try 100. Let's see what happens. Man, that's still too high. We could try even a lower number, but I'm afraid to go lower, okay? But that's still... It's still better than the price I started with. So I'm going to hit confirm. And then this may take a long time to run. So I'm just going to probably have to come back later and complete the video when that transaction is done. Now, if you click on certain places in your MetaMask or on that website that I was on, it will take you to your transaction. You can see right here it says estimated confirmation duration greater than one hour. So it doesn't say how, how much longer than an hour. It says estimation does not take into account previous pending months. And here's the gas tracker. I'm curious if I open that in a new window, which is a different tracker than what we already saw, or it's the same one. So this page is etherscan.io slash gas tracker. It's kind of interesting. At the bottom of the page, they show you here the websites that are using the most gas. They call them the gas guzzlers. And that's basically accounts or websites that use the most gas. So OpenSea, we've talked about in prior videos, that's an exchange where people buy and sell their NFTs, their non-fungible tokens. Uniswap is a site where you trade your coins, like if you want to trade Ethereum for Bitcoin or for USDT, US dollars, that type of thing. Um, Tether is actually the USD coin itself. And actually, StrongBlock is number five. That's kind of, that was actually surprising to me. And I don't even know what Genie is. I guess it's another swap and so on. So you notice I still entered 100, which is lower than any of these three numbers. Okay, time lapse. Guess what? It finished. And it took 17 minutes and 14 seconds. So maybe I could have even paid a little less money and let it maybe take two or three hours. Like I said, I really wasn't in a hurry for this one. So how is this useful to you? A lot of you are watching my channel because I've been doing a lot of videos about Gala Games and Townstar. And when you quote unquote mint your coins from your treasure chest, which I'll probably do a separate video on that, you have to pay an Ethereum fee because what you're doing is taking it from one place and then putting it on the Ethereum blockchain. And every time you touch Ethereum, you have to pay those gas, those gas fees. Now in the future, they're talking about coming up with their own Gala chain. And in theory, it's going to be this year, but that's coming soon. So just remember that next time you have to pay Ethereum fees, if you're not in a hurry, you can put in a lower amount and maybe wait a little longer and save a lot of money. And so this is Neil. I'll see you in the next video.